Hey y'all, um, I just got back from Atlanta today. I left Tuesday like um, right after I got home from school and then um, I came back today around 4. Right now um, it's a little bit, it's like 8.45 I think, yeah. And um, yeah, well while I was in Atlanta my grandma took me to Living Square and I went shopping so I have a haul for you girls. Yay, um, it's been a while since I've done a haul. It's been a while since I've like, gone shopping and got like a substantial amount of stuff. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I went to four different places, and yeah, so I'm just going to get started now. Okay. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is from Wet Seal. Hold on, I'm going to do Okay. Yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is from Wet Seal. Hold on. Okay. And it is this, um, teal, turquoiseous, um, halter top and I don't know I think about taking it back I think it's a little skankish um <laughs> I don't know another word to like describe it but like um I don't like that it has like these cup things in the boob part of it and it's just like a little low but I don't know I really do like the deep the um, beads that they have around the um, halter part and like the little ring in the middle so, I don't know, I have to think about it, and um, when you turn things to wet seal, you can only get a store credit, you can't get, um, like, a monetary refund, so, yeah, um, okay. Next thing I'll show you is Hollister, um, I got two things from Hollister, and I got some really good deals, um, first thing I got is this gray top, sorry it's wrinkled, I had to, like, put it all in my suitcase. Smells so good. It smells like Hollister. Um, it's like a baggy-ish tank top. And I guess you'd wear like a more fitted tank top underneath or like maybe one of those like weird bando things. I'm not really into those, so I'd probably just put like another tank top under it. And it's kind of longish, so I'd probably wear jeans because I don't like it when shirts are like longer than my shorts. I think that looks kind of weird. On the front, it has this really cute like lace and buttons um, detailing. And then on the back, it has this like really cute like twisted razor back thing. It's really cute. And let's see. Um, it was originally $25 and I got it on sale for $10 and it's a medium. This runs a little big, like I think it's supposed to be big, but I think it's a little too big, so I definitely feel like a size or two down for this. But it's really cute. And the other thing I got is um this tank top. It's kind of plainish. But to me, this is like a classic, like, Hollister item. Like, they had these tank tops, like, forever. And it's, like, one of the first Hollister pieces I ever saw. And, like, one of the first things for one from Hollister. And I really want the navy blue one, but um, they only had, like, cream and gray. So I got cream. And around the top, it has this really pretty, like, double lace detailing. It's kind of, like, in a V. And then it has lace on the sleeves. And then lace, of course, around the bottom with the little, um... Let's see, burgundy seagull. And I really like the fact that it doesn't have a built-in bra, because I hate tank tops with built-in bra. Um, I got it on sale for $10. It, I, um, they put a sticker over the original price, but I think it was originally um, $15 or $20 or something around there. Um, there is a sticker, and it's a medium, but it's a little tight, so I definitely could have taken a large in it. Um, so if you're trying to get that, you should probably um, go a size up. So I'm going to show you is from Abercrombie and Fitch. Okay, I got a really good deal on this. I only got one thing from there. And it's jeans. My first ever pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I've always wanted Abercrombie jeans, but they're always so expensive. Yeah, these smell so good too. This is what the butt looks like. They're um, the Aaron skinny jeans. And um, they're they're like really distressed, which I think is really cute. I really like distressed jeans. The thing I don't like about them is I wish that they were um, super skinny, but that's okay. And let's see, the Aaron skinny jeans and a size zero regular. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's the kicker. These jeans were originally one hundred and ten dollars. I got them on sale for nineteen ninety nine. $20. That's definitely like the best sale I've ever gotten in my entire, entire life. Um, I was really surprised. Like I just was walking through the clearance section 
and they have like a shelf of jeans and above it said 19.99 and I was like whoa are they for real and then like this girl next to me oh my gosh okay so this girl comes, comes up to me and well first of all she's sitting next to me and I'm like are these jeans really on sale because I thought she worked there I don't know why she was just like I don't know she looked like she worked there and then she's like oh do you guys have these anything bigger than a size 4 and I'm just like what and like, I guess we like both thought we worked there and it was a really funny little situation thing it was one of those you had to be there type things though they smell so good. It was such a good deal. I'm so happy I found the Crew Outcome jeans. Um, I was surprised they had my size though, because usually they only have like a really good deal. They don't have my size. And I've also realized like not all Abercrombie and Hollister's have the same um, the same promotions going on. Like the one I usually shop at never ever has a sale no matter what. And then this other one that I kind of shop at sometimes usually just has like the sales that are online. And then this one, I don't even know, this one just had, like, the one at Linux just had, like, crazy sales that, not even, like, sales, because, like, everything else was regular price out, so that's why I was surprised to see those, like, I was like, what? But, yeah, I mean, yeah. And the last place I went to was, um, Lush. I went to Lush for my very first time, and I only got one thing and one sample, but, um, I really liked it, and I will definitely, definitely be going back. Um, I am a daughter of accountants, so I did have, like, a little problem, like, seeing soap for, like, $15 and stuff. I was like, what? But, yeah. I'm definitely going to go back and get something else. But what I got was, I don't even know the name of this, so I'm sorry. I forgot it. It's not so good, though. Um, it's this little soap it has sparkles in it which was mostly the reason i got it and shaped like a heart like i was originally it smells like i don't know it smells like a combination of like maybe lavender and it's really like light though like it's really it's not like a harsh like really perfumey scent like some of the stuff like the bath and body works no offense to people like bath and body works like i like some of their stuff but some of it is just like too much for me but it's a really like light natural scent and um I was originally going to get some of this, um, like one of those shower fizzy things, but then I saw this and I had sparkles and shape of the heart and I just had to get that instead. And I didn't want to spend too much money there because, like I said, it is kind of like soap. And then, um, I really wanted to get honey I washed the kids too, but it was like $15 and I didn't think spending $15 for a piece of soap was reasonable. But I'm definitely going to get honey ash from the kids next time I go back and probably like one of the shower fizzy things too. Um, yeah, but the ladies there were so nice. Oh my gosh, I've never had better customer service anywhere before in my life. And, um, the lady, yeah, she, like, basically walked around the entire store with me and, like, told me, like, what everything was. And she was so nice. Oh my gosh. And the free sample I gave me was this lip balm thing. Um, lip tint, actually, is what it's called. And, um, it's in double chalk. It smells like chocolate. I'm gonna try to open it. It smells really and that's what it looks like. I'm sure y'all have seen this before, though. Um, I was happy they actually gave me a brown one, because sometimes, like, it's, I know, like, I think when they give you samples of lipstick, like, I always get, like, a light pink one. Like, what is one my color going to do with a light pink lipstick? Nothing. Um, yeah, that's everything. Um, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial. I'm not going to make any promises, because I never make promises. I never do it. But I'm thinking about doing, um, my smoky eye tutorial. I did smoky eyes, like, once, like, a couple days before I began school, and it actually turned out really well, but I didn't make a tutorial. But if I can remember everything I used, and I will make a tutorial for it. Um, oh, do you guys want to see my cat? Oreo! Come here! Oreo! Oh, she can't get in. There she is. Come here. Come here, girl. I'm talking to her like she's a dog. This is my sweet baby Oreo. I love her so much. This is my like, child. I love this cat. I want to like wipe itself. Anyways, so thanks for watching. Keep a lookout for that tutorial. Um, say bye, baby Oreo. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.